morning. I haven't touched my vlogging camera for almost a month and I've been gone pretty much the whole of January on YouTube. I feel like I haven't been as active as I thought I would be. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm getting over a cold and I feel like before the video that I posted before this one, I was sick before Christmas. But happy 2024. I feel like a lot of us has had the chance to set goals and to really picture what our 2024 would look like for all of us. But 2023 for me was all about taking risks and also it was more so about solitude because I really, it was like the first year that I got to live with myself for a whole year and I've come to realize how much I love being alone, how much I love my solitude. I'm more creative when I'm alone. I feel more empowered when I do things alone. Um, so I feel like last year I got to really filter out the noise around me and really be centered in who I am and who and what my values are. So because 2023 was such a fruitful year for me, I want to be able to come into 2024 with a lot more intention in everything that I do. Um, so I kind of want to touch a little bit on like social media and almost like what my perspective is on social media now. So I tried vlogging about two weeks ago, didn't really feel like vlogging except you know, I wanted to vlog for the sake of being consistent on YouTube and you know, it's the start of the year, I want to be consistent. But at the same time, like did I really feel like picking up the camera and making making a vlog no i still kind of force myself to for the sake of being consistent and that is like the number one thing that i had to reflect on because this year i don't want to do things for the sake of consistency anymore i want to be able to make things of quality obviously being consistent is very important with your work but at the same time, I feel like with where I'm at right now, I feel like, I just feel like doing things with more intention. One thing about social media is that there is a lot of noise. So I feel like, I don't know, I'm like a little, I'm still really iffy about that because a lot of things on social media, you know, are very, just, they lack purpose. So I feel like I'm finding it a little bit hard, especially in like this creative space to be creative, but at the same time, bring meaning into what I'm doing and bring purpose to be able to fulfill me. So that was a quick little rant of where I'm at mentally um, and how I'm perceiving social media at the moment and how I want to figuring out how to navigate this thing. But I'm gonna have some breakfast. I'm only having like three eggs, three scrambled eggs right now because I don't have anything in my fridge and I have to grocery shop. But I'm heading to the gym right after. I want to show you guys something really quickly. My fridge is quite empty. But anyways, I'm very proud of this little stack that I have going on here. I have a whole shelf of these UFIT protein shakes or protein drinks. It's like 50 grams per bottle. It currently helps me a lot with my diet at the moment, which I'm doing high protein, low carb to build more muscle and lose fat. So I have strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate. And today I'm doing chocolate after the gym. And I'm just like, it just makes me so happy. So I just want to show you because I'm so serious about building this body. I have a trip coming up soon, which I have yet to obviously talk about. Don't really want to talk too much about it because I just want to be able to like vlog as soon as I am about to go. I'm taking you along throughout the whole thing. It's going to be a trip that will feel like such a breath of fresh air for me. And I'm excited to take you along. I'm like hyping it up. On another note, I surprised my dog when I came back home for Christmas. So if you are a puppy lover, I think you will love this clip when I surprised her. So I'm going to add it in.
multivitamin gummies these ones are from Canada I literally got them from Costco it's good for brain function mood balance inflammation and I'm also taking my probiotic prebiotic I wanted to show you my gym outfit of the day I've been posting a lot of my gym fits on my Insta stories because I just have been loving all my gym outfits but this set is from Tala and it literally scoops you in like I don't know how it's this comfortable yet it literally just shapes you so well like hello come on so I love it it's in this like khaki green color so I got their little halter top that they sent me and then their leggings as well and I just love it I love the fit and I'm ready to get this workout in also, another thing that I've done off camera in January was to deep clean my apartment. I deep cleaned everything from clothes to socks to underwear to literally everything that I own. I wanted to deep clean everything because I, I didn't want things lying around when they're not being used, they're not being worn. Because for me, it's taking up unnecessary space that could be decluttered. So I think I found my favorite way to organize my socks. They look like these little pebbles and it's just so cute but i've got like my colored ones my stockings like everything is just exactly what i need here are some boy shorts my underwear for when i have my period you know my thongs everything i've also had the chance to organize all of my workout clothes which i actually ended up having way more but i've decluttered everything that i don't use so now i only have these and then same thing with my pjs i've got my bottoms and then my tops and then i also have like my tank air um little camisoles just like sculpting tops i would call them but everything is literally like so minimalistic and i don't feel like i need to have more than this because you know everything will be worn so now i have a big little box that i will donate just figure that i'm not going to post them on depop and just you know fully just donate everything so this rack that i have here is from rack buddy and it has helped so much in terms of obviously storing more clothes but i also love how minimal the rack is and i just want to give them a shout out because I have no time to prepare myself a meal because I have to get ready and head out for dinner with Z and her friends. Today we're celebrating Miss Z, but I got sushi to go um, from the mall that um, it's like close by. So yeah. So 
for this hair, I'm gonna do a wet ponytail. And I've been doing like a wet pony ever since Hawaii because it just looks so good. <laughs> Take some water and wet your hair like this. You're gonna have some mousse. I'm using this brand. Doesn't matter. Do a little like this. I'm gonna put that all over your hair. This kind of makes it easier for you to put your hair up. I like to brush my hair to the point where the pony is going to be at the middle of my head, not the top of my head. This kind of has been my go-to look as of lately because it's so easy. And because I go to the gym often, my hair tends to get, like in the morning, um, my, ten my hair tends to get very oily from, you know, like the sweat, the gel. So whenever I have to go out after, I typically up for this hairstyle because it's so easy. You're gonna take this type of brush. I'm not sure what it's called. But I'm gonna take some gel and put it right here. And you're gonna take this and brush it down. Then now I'm going to take my hair and literally wet it. <laughs> I take some more mousse and then I'm also gonna take this Color Wow Pop and Lock High Gloss finish and I think this will really give us that sheen. I'm also gonna put a little bit of the gloss on my hair and this will really give us like that like a wet look. And then just wet her a little bit more, a little bit more. I'm gonna do a little bit of the Color Wow hairspray. Okay, ta-da. Now we pack her gift. Hi. We are gonna do the watch ring in Tiffany. Dixon taught me how to package it. To wear the gloves because you don't wanna touch the actual ring. Wait, now I can't open it. Okay. Open the box. This will be basically like how your ring will come if you order. We've got the jamais vous um, box. We got the Tiffany. So pretty. You guys know I'm not a silver girl, but Z is. She loves her silver. So then that is what it'll look like. Voila! We slide her in there. Voila. Outfit today is very chill. Didn't want to do too much, but I'm just wearing my sweatpants under my pants. And then I'm kind of like all gray today. Yeah, I just want to be comfortable because I'm still obviously like getting over my sickness. So I want to make sure that I'm cozy. Right? I mean, and then obviously we can't forget our watch ring. So I got a new color. I got the, the pearl. The pearl is absolutely beautiful. It's kind of like iridescent, which you can't really see too much on camera. I think I'm gonna layer with both the pink and the pearl. Hello. This is my new favorite combo. I need to get my nails done, but so beautiful. Okay, full look. Something light, you know. You know, you know, you know, you know. And my allies. Yeah. Guys, this smells insane. You're gonna love it. I'm so excited. Is there a recipe? Um, I think this looks like a breast, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank Morning. Today we're getting microneedling and I'm a little bit nervous because I don't know how my skin will react to it But hopefully we're gonna be all good. We're gonna be all healed within a week I do have pretty sensitive skin, so I try not to Mess around too much about it, but I do have quite a bit of hyperpigmentation that won't budge same with the other side So I do feel like we need new collagen production. It will take you along for my whole journey I know that I'm gonna be pretty red after 
So I am going to bring a hat and a scarf to completely cover my face. I'm gonna be in a mall, so there are going to be a lot of people when I like come out. Okay, update. They wouldn't let me film, but I'm red as a tomato. They did apply numbing cream all over my face, but it was really like hard to get absorbed on like the bony areas of your face. When she touched this area of my face, it was pretty painful. Happy Sunday. Today I'm heading to the Columbia Road Flower Market with my friend Sunita, whom I have not seen for ages because she's a busy gal and she's in school, so but she has time for me today. So I thought it'd be cute to do like a little flower market, shop around for flowers, and then have a cute little brunch and then maybe head home after. Um, because currently I've been in the midst of packing really slowly because I obviously am very intricate with all of my outfits, so also update on my skin. You know, I have concealer, blush, over, but um, I will show you without makeup on later. Honestly, for my first treatment, I don't think that I really had that much of like a burn. I know a lot of people burn from microneedling, not burn, but like they usually have like scabs and like bruises all over. But thankfully, I didn't have that. I had really mild. Um, redness and then also really mild like peeling after and then after that like it was kind of back to normal but overall I have noticed that my skin after felt very glowy and very bright and also I think in terms of lightening my hyperpigmentation it has helped a little bit with that so slowly but surely obviously it's my first treatment so it's not gonna be groundbreaking results you know that feeling when your back hurts and you know that your period is around the corner that is how I feel right now and I think it's gonna align to when I actually have to leave for my trip which is very unfortunate I have this purple leather jacket that I got from Ethan who works for guests and I was gifted it kindly. So for me, this is a very kind of minimal, don't have to use my brain type of outfit. And with that, I usually pair my favorite pair of pants with a belt and a very basic minimal top. And then just throw on a jacket because I don't want to be cold. These are my prized possession. You guys already know how obsessed I am with these. Rings. And then I also have this kind of just stack it. funny because today Sunita was like we're going to be very casual but cute today yes. and then turns up Which on a are. full outfit <laughs> with heels on anyways run us down your whole outfit please okay. wait let me yeah, you can put it down oh so cute okay well, so what are we wearing we're going really baggy I, I don't normally wear baggy stuff but my friend made this jacket recently and then that's it <laughs> because this is like really light uh -huh. so I'm gonna one two three four uh, <laughs> Five. Skirt is just from charity shop. I've like pinned it up and then these boots I got back home recently. Charity shop. 
We're going on my first ever Pilates class and this is what we're wearing. Aloe sports bra, aloe leggings, and these are like the shiny glossy pair. And then I'm also topping it up with a shawl. But I'm ready because I think my core is very strong from obviously working out a lot at the gym. So we'll see how Pilates kick my ass today. I just like wear white aloe socks. Full aloe today. This is the workout. Fit. And I also finally got my new mug from the mail. This I actually painted, so me and my friends went to like a pottery painting place and painted our own mugs. I went for just a typical color, just kind of a contrast. 